What's going on guys? My name is Skill37 and in today's video I will be reviewing Call of Duty Black Ops for the Xbox 360. Yes, I know this review is late but like I stated in an earlier video, I wanted to play the living shit out of this game before I even reviewed it. I wanted to wait till the game actually got patched because you know every single game needs a patch when it first gets released. I want to play the campaign of zombies a lot. I really want to test everything out, test the balance and just overall just play the living shit out of the game. So, you know, with this review I am Prestige 1 level 48. I have I already have like two gameplay videos up on my channel of Call of Duty Black Ops. I've talked about this game in a, a previous video where I did the whole Black Ops need to know shit. So this review is going to be straight to the point. I'm going to talk a little bit about the campaign the zombies and a lot about the multiplayer. So let's get down to the review. And yes, it's my lucky hat. And I like to wear this hat when I play fucking Call of Duty Black Ops because I don't know. It makes me feel special. But uh, yeah, campaign this year is just like previous Call of Duty games. Over the top, epic nonsense that will last about five, six hours, and then the veteran mode is just off the fucking hook. Traditionally, Call of Duty games take, you know, they play from the perspective of two characters, and not this year. The game concentrates on one main character named Mason, and while you look at the play as other characters for maybe one or two levels, the game really concentrates on one main character, his name is Mason, and yes, he actually talks this year, which is another tradition they broke. So now you get to really, like, kind of connect with this character, Mason, and figure out what the fuck he's going through. The game is not like previous Call of Duty games where it's just like straight war and you're going to point to point B, save the fucking day. It's a little different, got a little cool twist in it. Um, interesting concept, the ending's pretty good, but the overall campaign in general is just off the hook. You're going to be going different time periods, such as you're going to be in, a, in an asylum, then you're going to go to an urban area, you're going to be in a jungle, you're going to be in fucking snow area, you're going to be running from fucking uh, avalanches and shit. It's an overall awesome, non-stop, crazy fun game, man. Really cool. Really cool fucking game. Um, Mason is an ideal character for this series. I like what they did with him. He's not like a super soldier. He's just like that soldier caught in the middle. He's like all fucked up in the head. And uh, yeah, Treyarch did an excellent job this year's Call of Duty campaign. Really good. Really good campaign. A lot of people complain about the veteran mode being all off the fucking hook. But yeah, you know, the Call of Duty games, usually on veteran, are a little retarded. They got grenades at your feet. As soon as you spawn, you will die probably the second the game loads. Like it's, it's really stupid almost. Like, the fact that that'd be well, called before and Modern Platoon on veteran just baffles me. I was like, damn, I really spent all day trying to beat this shit. But uh, Black Ops campaign is an absolute treat. You will love it. So if you're looking just to play the campaign, rent Black Ops and hit up the campaign and you will be in for a good ride. Zombie mode is back. Zombie mode can be played offline and online. You can play with by yourself on the TV or someone next to you or up to two, uh, three people on one TV. You can take a friend online if you're on Xbox. If you're on the Xbox 360, you can have a friend sign into their account on one Xbox and two accounts can go online. You can do that for zombies and multiplayer. So you can both break up your, your stats for multiplayer and shit. Uh, if you're on the PS3, sadly, you do not have this feature. It was stripped away at the last second. Gay. But, uh, yeah, zombie mode is awesome. It's really fucking polished up. The ambiance, the overall feel of zombies is really, really dark and gritty. The zombies feel like they're just much harder this year. And it's just really, real fun. Like, you, you, you're given two maps. From the, you're given two maps, basically, and one arcade map. The first map, you play as the four heroes from World at War. And in the second uh, zombie map, you get to play as John F. Kennedy, Fidel Castro, Nixon, and some other guy I forgot his name. And then the third one, it's a, it's a top-down shooter. It's a top-down arcade version of zombie mode. But zombie mode is basically what you expect it to be. They add a couple new guns. They bring back all the old guns, except the waffle gun, I think it's called. The little thunder lightning gun. I think they removed that. But uh, it's, still, it's still the same addicting, you know, survive wave after wave zombies we know and love. Is it worth buying Black Ops 4? People will actually argue yes. I, in a sense, only played World at War for the zombie. I thought the zombies was amazing. So a lot of people, on my friends, is actually at Black Ops, and they're only playing zombies. Like, they're like rank 1 online, but they have like 20 hours into fucking zombies. It's nuts. So zombies is great. So, if you know, hit up zombies too. Now let's talk about the reason you bought Call of Duty Black Ops, the heart and soul of the Call of Duty franchise, and the reason it is the most played, you know, console FPS on the PS3 and Xbox 360, the multiplayer. The multiplayer this year is what it should have been years ago, and that is balanced, all right? Call of Duty 4 is still, in my opinion, the best Call of Duty game, multiplayer-wise, in terms of balance, action, playability, and all that other nonsense. So Call of Duty 4 is like right here, and this is Black Ops. This is World at War. 
This is Modern Warfare Dose. Black Ops is seriously fucking balanced, dude. This game was built from the ground up to be balanced. All the guns are usable. There is no fucking one or two guns that define the battlefield. Unlike World of War, where it was the MP40, where you can actually almost snipe with the fucker. In this game, you get the AK-74U AK and AK-47. are very they, they stand out amongst the other guns, but don't let that confuse you. They're very easy to fight back. All the other submachine guns can, you know, kill a player using this AK-74U and like the commando. You can take out someone with an AK-47 with a commando. So you don't have to worry about overpowered guns in this fucking game. There's guns with better stats than other guns, but trust me, the guns are balanced, all right? There is no one gun that makes the shittiest of the shitty all of a sudden Jesus Christ himself on the battlefield. No, the guns are balanced. Like I've stated in the previous video, especially in my video, Call of Duty Black Ops Need to Know, I will leave a link to that in the video description. You need to hit that up. Uh, quick scoping has been removed. Now when you, you zoom in with a sniper rifle, this happens. Zing. So say goodbye to quick scoping. No, it's not coming back. And Treyarch and um, Joshua and have stated future Treyarch games, Call of Duty wise, will have this sway. So quick scoping is dead. They want to get rid of it. They feel that it's unfair. It's bullshit. It's retarded. I agree and disagree, but whatever. It is what it is. And I personally like the fact that everyone's using the assault rifle now. Like no one's really sniping this game. Um... The maps in Black Ops, the maps in Black Ops are all good. I love every single one of them except Hanoi. I think Hanoi is retarded. I like Nuketown. I hate Nuketown. I love Nuketown because I can get some pretty beast kill death ratios. I hate Nuketown because I played that map like 10, 20 times fucking straight because no one wants to vote for any other map other than Nuketown because it's the only map people are fucking good at. But uh, they with the with the latest patch, they removed that. Now you can't vote a map more than twice in a row. So yeah, no more nuke, no more Nuketown boosting bitches. But um. All the maps are great. Like, I have no problems with any of the maps. I like them all. They're all fun to use. Like, they're all fun to play on. I said use. They're all fun to play on. And, uh, let me see. Stopping Power, Juggernaut, Danger Close, Smart of Dumb, uh, and Painkiller, Death Streaks in general. All gone. All gone. This, this game got rid of all those annoyances. Everyone's in an uh, equal playing field now. Uh, noob Tubes are in this game, but like Slamper Rifles, no one's using them. No one's fucking bothering. Everyone's just running around and killing people with fucking SMGs and assault rifles. It's beautiful. And a few people that are sniping in this game really suck. I've yet to come across a really good sniper. Really. And the sniper rifles also, their damage is a little gimp. Like, I've been shot with a bolt action sniper rifle. The ones that typically kill you in one shot. And, you know, the guy zooms in, sways, hits me. I get a, He gets a hit marker. I laugh and I fucking kill him. It's hilarious. No one's sniping in this game. It takes lots of bullets to kill people in this game. You'll notice you will lay in four to five, six shots just to kill someone. Um, but Bullet Registry is not as good as Call of Duty 4, but it's much better than World of Wars, if that makes sense to you. Because this is running off the World of War engine, it's just a really highly upgraded version. The Bullet Registry is much more reliable than it was in World of War. But there's a couple instances, like when you hit firing, you swear to God, you're right in front of the dude, and you hit firing, you ain't dying, you're all like, what the fuck? Um, there's lots of customizations you can do for your characters, such as give your character face paint. There's lots and lots and lots of camos for your guns. And, and you know the whole clan tag shit? You can put your clan tag on your guns now. You can fucking customize your reticle. If you get the red dot side, the reflex side, you can change the color of the reticle from, you know, blue, green, purple, yellow, orange, pink, I think. You can change the color of the lens in general. You can change the shape of the fucking, uh, the reticle itself. So instead of a circle, you have a square, a triangle, the triforce, the little fucking Treyarch symbol. You can have a skull, a heart. It's awesome. You can really give yourself that unique persona on the battlefield. And when, when it comes down to the perks, all the perks are balanced, and the way you upgrade your perks this year is not just using a perk. You got to play, some perks require you play specific game modes. Some perks require you do certain things. Like to get Scavenger Pro, you have to, re, you have to um, scavenge enemies 150 times. You got to get a five, you have to get five kills in a row without dying on five separate occasions. Shit like that, basically. You gotta work hard to get the pro version of your perks, but it's really worth it. The pro version of the perks this year are off the fucking hook. The pro versions of the perks will really make your sword into a fucking just over-the-top super soldier in the battlefield. It's great. I love the fucking, um, the pro version of these perks. Uh, this is just cosmetics. The perk one, perk one, you know, the blue perk. Whatever you make that, that changes the overall appearance of your character. So when you're in a when you're in a character creation section and you're choosing perk one and you choose different perks like hardline or flat jacket, you'll get to actually see your character on screen and what he'll change, what he'll look like. It's fucking awesome. Um, you get to create your own um, clan emblem. Remember in Modern Warfare 2 when you ranked up, you got a little 
bar and shit. It says, you know, you got a little title and you got a little emblem. This should get rid of that. You get to buy any bar you want and, uh, you know, a little picture bar and you get to create your own emblem. There is an emblem creator. It's awesome. There's a theater mode this year where you can upload about up to 30 seconds of footage to YouTube channel. There's a file share. Oh, and the uploading's free. Awesome. Uh, there's a file share. You get to put any match you want on your file share and it takes seconds. Like you, you can just finish a match and while the next game's loading, you go to your file share, save it real quick, go right back into the lobby. It's great. The file share works wonders. I uploaded a video of me pointing some retard with a fucking claymore. That took five minutes to do. It was great. You get to link your YouTube account to your Xbox Live Windows Windows account um, on calldoody.com. So if you want to figure that out, go ahead. I'll leave a little tutorial. And I'll leave a bunch of links in the video description below. Guys, in this video, be sure to click the video description. I'm going to leave lots and lots of links. I'm going to leave links to the official Black Ops Twitter. I'm going to leave a link to the uh, the lead multiplayer designer, his Twitter. I'm going to leave a link to calldoody.com, all that good shit. I'm gonna leave a link to the. I'm gonna leave a link to a website that shows you all the perks, what they do. If you're very curious, um, so let's talk about something else. Uh, important stuff. Important stuff. Important stuff. Ranking up, prestiging. The highest rank in the game is 50. The highest prestige level is 15. And no, the prestige icons actually are not cool. They all they all look pretty retarded. That's just me though. But um, you rank up really quickly. Like the smallest things you do will get you mad points. Um. Uh, other than typical traditional challenges, they have a thing called contracts now. Before a game starts up, you go hit up a contract. Contract is similar to a challenge, but you're timed on it. You pretty much have like 45 minutes to an hour game time to complete these contracts. And the contracts will range from things like get three kills in a row with this weapon, uh, capture a flag, play this, play this game type of certain amount of time, and win. And with that, you earn more experience points and COD points. What COD points are now, as you progress through the ranks and you unlock stuff, doesn't mean you actually have instant access to it. You just unlock it, then you have to buy it. As you rake up, you earn COD points. As you do cool challenges and contracts, you earn COD points, Call of Duty points. And with these COD points, you get to buy shit. So you say you get the AK-47, you want to pimp it out. You get to buy the gun, buy the equipment, the attachments you want, buy the paint job, buy the clan tag you want to put on it, buy the emblem attachment. You got to buy, buy, buy. You can spend about thirty to $40,000 on each and single, every single fucking gun will cost you that money. If you want to unlock everything for every single gun, you're going to be playing this game for a very fucking long time. So if you actually want to get everything, for all your guns, I suggest not prestiging. Um, they got a specific leaderboard only for prestige players. So if you want to get into the prestige leaderboards, it'll cost you $50,000. So have fun with that. And they have a thing called wager matches now. If you really want to earn some money and you want to show off your skills and shit, they got wager matches, which are all free-for-all based only. And you get game types like Gun Game, inspired by Counter-Strike back in 97 and shit, where as you kill someone, you get to the next tier of guns, and when you get another kill, you get another gun, and when you finish off all the guns, you win, you win everyone's money and shit. They got one in the chamber, where everyone's equipped with a fucking Model 1911, you got one bullet, and if you hit an opponent, you gain their bullet, and if you miss, you got, you know, end out with a knife fight. They got sticks and stones, where you got a hatch, you got the throwing, uh, throwing axe, you got the fucking crossbow. And they got some other ones which I forgot. Wager matches are pretty fucking cool. There's one team variant to wager matches, and it's real. You can you can win very little money. But uh, the free for alls, there's a, expect a lot of shit talking. Expect a lot of fucking threats. Expect a lot of people talking about how they're gonna fucking rape you and kill your mother and shit. Because when you steal someone's money online, apparently it makes them very upset. Um, there's also a specific wager match where you can bet up to ten thousand dollars. So have fun with that. Don't go in there without your fucking you know your game face and shit. So, Call of Duty Black Ops is the most balanced, next to Call of Duty 4, the most balanced Call of Duty, the most customizable Call of Duty, the most fun Call of Duty in years. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, kill streaks don't stack, uh, there's no there's no nuke, the highest kill streak's 11, which is attack dogs and fucking um, attack dogs and gunship, and the kill streaks, when the kill streaks it kills for you, they don't count towards getting the next kill streak. If you have to get the dog, which is 11 kills, you have to get 11 kills yourself. It means your gun, your grenades, your claymores, your character gets those kills, not your little flying helicopter and shit. So have fun with that shit. Um, yeah, that's pretty what I have to say about the game. Call of Duty Black Ops is challenging online. It's fun. It's rewarding. It's very customizable. Awesome experience. A huge, huge, huge package for 60 bucks. They just passed the game. The server's a fix. So like I said, you know, I waited a while to make this review. And now it's out there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check the video description for lots and lots of links. And find us what I get for this game. Call of Duty Black Ops by Treyarch and Activision. Gets a 9 out of 10 from me. So thank you for watching this video. And as always, peace.